In my last video, I dealt with this frame of the bell film, which I only noticed because I clicked on a, uh, a thread in the education forum, and then I clicked on a link. And uh, I find this uh, frame very important because I believe it shows Charles Brem in the frame in a position that he's not supposed to be in, according to the official story. And in that video, I mentioned that my version of the Bell film did not include that frame. And I thought the reason it didn't include the frame was because I had recorded that version of the Bell film using a screen recorder. And uh, I've noticed that because my computer is slow, sometimes when I use the screen recorder on full screen, the video that results is a little jerky looking. And I think the reason probably is that my computer is too slow to capture every frame. So I assumed that this is the reason that the frame was not in my video, because my best copy of the Bell film was recorded using a screen recorder. I now think that's not correct. I think it was not in the original video as it had been posted, and I want to babble on about that for a little bit. And this is where I got my version of the Bell film that I regarded as the best version I had. It was uh, from a post in the Education Forum by Robin Unger on July 20th, 2022. The link is there, the link to a, a video on, on his webpage. Uh, it's no longer available, I just checked now, but he also at some point updated his post and said it was no longer available. I don't know why it was removed. But anyway, I recorded it before it was removed. And that became my reference version of the Bell film. And this is it here. This is my screen recording of the, of the Robin Unger post. And to me this looks beautiful because uh, every version of the Bell film I had seen before looks horrible. It's derived from the Groden VHS tape, I think. And uh, I might as well play it to the point in question. It's right, the next scene after this, right there. And it's already past uh, the frame in question. But prior to posting that MP4 version of the entire Bell film, uh, Unger had posted GIF files of uh, the film. He, he broke it up, I think, into nine different files, something like that. And uh, at that time, of course, that was the best version I had seen. And I also uh, downloaded those files. I didn't use my screen recorder for that. I downloaded the actual files. And as it turns out, the frame in question isn't in his GIF files either. So, even though I can't examine the original MP4 file he posted, I think the frame is missing from that, too. I think, for whatever reason, Unger did not post this frame. And here I made this graphic to illustrate the situation. The top row is the first four frames of this scene from the Sixth Floor Museum file that I downloaded. And the second frame of the scene is the one that I find to be critical, the one that shows Charles Brem. And in both Unger versions, both the MP4 and the GIF, those first two frames are missing. And I think it's very unlikely that my screen recording would miss two frames. So I think uh, because they're missing in his GIF file and because uh, they're not in the MP4 file that I screen recorded, I think it probably wasn't in either of his original files. Of course, I wouldn't want to speculate as to why the frame that I regard as the most critical frame is missing from the Robin Unger versions that were posted to the Education Forum, but I think it's worth noting that the critical frame is missing from the Unger versions.